Okay, so what I want to do is kind of describe to you how the cochlea uh, is positioned and what it looks like. So if you'll look on Dr. Ward's atlas, we're going to show you a picture on 525 here. He's essentially taken the cochlea and unraveled it or unrolled it. Remember, the cochlea makes three turns around the central core, which is the medialis right here. So let me explain kind of to you how this picture represents or uh, coincides with this towel. All right, so this towel, these towels, I took this and this would represent your uh, vestibular duct up on top. Remember that ends at the oval window, okay? The vestibular duct contains perilymph. It's gonna go all the way around and it's continuous with this one on the bottom, okay? Which is gonna be your tympanic duct, all right? That ends at the round window. And you'll see they're one and the same. They both contain perilymph where it makes the turn and goes from the vestibular duct to the um, tympanic duct down there, that's called the heligotrema, right there, that's where they change, okay? So inside of that, between those two, right, the pink towel represents the cochlear duct, which is filled with endolymph, which is a thicker fluid. So this is gonna be essentially between those two, and it's filled with endolymph. So when you look at it this way, and when it's all rolled up, and makes its three turns around the medialis there, that is kind of what the cochlea looks like. It kind of resembles a snail shell, right, when you look at it that way. So hopefully that'll help you understand a little bit more about how those ducts are positioned when they're all coiled up there and they fit into our inner ear.